UFC Light Heavyweight Division Collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, so far, so good in the octagon for the Brazilian light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker gets a step up in competition here tonight. Yes, and he has stepped up to every person that he's fought, and he's not, he's dominated them. Now, the only adversity he had is hurting himself, finishing a right, fight, doing right, his celebratory right. worm. I said, Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker. You got to find a different way to celebrate, my friend. Yeah, dislocated his shoulder after the Misha Serkunov fight. That was another first round finish for Johnny Walker. Has a great frame, great length for this light heavyweight division. And we'll see how it goes for Johnny Walker Blue here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Walker is 28. Johnson is 36. Walker is four inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Anthony Rumble Johnson! And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on this play tonight. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice. Spinning back fist is there. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Oh. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Johnson. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. 
He's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. An uppercut landed. We got this. Okay? We got it. Oh, huge block. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep that pressure up for me now. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Jab snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, single color tie. 10 seconds to go. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Okay, ready? I'm through. You ready? Go Second back, round here. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very bad. Nice kick. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the snow line. Yeah, what a great job of doing this edge. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Nice right hand. Right now, right now. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, lands a knee to the head. Taller fighter once again, finding the target with relative ease. Just misses with a left hook there. Johnson's lower jaw does no. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, he'll engage in a single collar. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks. And it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker!
So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.